Okay, imagine for a moment that you're running and your attention isn't focused on the movements or your contracting muscles, the force on your lungs or the sand beneath your feet. You're just in the moment and it feels like time slows down. This is called the flow state. Getting in the zone. And it occurs differently for different people. For me, it's when I'm in the water. Tuesday morning and it's 6 a.m. right now I've got training in an hour and a half I usually always wake up an hour early purely because I love the mornings it's quiet it's beautiful the sun's starting to rise 6 a.m. is not bad considering I used to wake up at 4 a.m. in high school I did sleep most of high school though I need to finish my coffee then I'm going to meditate a little bit and I'm going to head to the pool this is our little fishy Tokyo He's a white and red Siamese fighter and we named him Tokyo after the flag being white with the red dot and then also Tokyo 2020 next year. He's a good reminder of what I'm working towards. He's a cool little dude. Dude, legend. Have you tried some of this before? We do rope climbs up here, that's about it. Just got back home and I'm busy editing, trying to edit this swim footage that was so sick and crisp that you just watched. But it was filmed in 6K which is a crazy quality for a laptop to handle. I think it's off. What is that? The first time I had it, it was blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not blue anymore. This time of year is always pretty hectic training because a lot of people will take at least a week off in December and possibly more. Every athlete's different, I'm not sure. But generally, at least in swimming, we kind of have huge training blocks leading into the end of the year and then it kind of starts over again in January. I don't think a lot of people know this, but for South Africa, to qualify for the Olympics, you have to do it at the Olympic trials. So at a specific event in that specific race. A lot of other countries, the way they're qualifying works, if you do the qualifying time and you come top two, anywhere from like a year out of the Olympic Games, you can qualify for the Olympic Games. In South Africa, you literally have to do the time and come first or second in that event on that day. One race every four years to qualify. In 2016, I woke up on the day of my first race at the Olympic trials and my throat was so sore and my heart literally dropped. I woke up and I was freaking out. I was like, I've just wasted four years of my life training for this race and now I'm sick. 
I think at that point the adrenaline also just took over and I just got super pumped and I was not going to let anything get in the way, especially not a sore throat. So now I've just got to have that same mentality four years later going into the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and make sure that I wake up on that day ready to bounce. Ready to well, A, I've done it before, so now if I don't do it again, it is like something to lose. But I think more than anything, going into 2016, um, it was my first Olympic Games and you have no idea what to expect. Now that I've been and I've stood on that block in front of the crowds and everyone and experienced that, like crazy, like a whole different world, um, just literally on another planet. What's worse, standing on the block or standing in the corner? They're both. No, no quorum quorum has to be quorum's, right? quorum's like nerve wracking and then when you get out and everyone's going crazy you just like so wild oh my god now that i know what to expect i feel like i'm going to be a lot more nervous because i know how big it is and how much is at stake but with saying that since 2016 i did the whole move here to america and i'm feeling good I've been training harder than ever before, so I'm feeling more confident. More nerves, but more confidence equals very good balance, I think. Because you need the nerves to have the adrenaline, and the nerves mean you care. And the crowd goes wild. Lane number four. Calvin Justus. He took it out very hard this morning. Just got all this editing to do. It's so hard. Courtney's at home workout. Okay, you gotta tell me. This is, this is, I don't okay, know. Okay, 20 toe touches to start. 